One of the most terrible things that can happen to you is to find out that you've been cheated on. You feel this like huge range of emotions, betrayal, jealousy, and the overwhelming urge to get revenge. Problem is, now we live in the age of social media, so if you're out here cheating on your significant other, if you get caught, everyone can find out. I'm counting down the top 10 people caught cheating on social media here for you on IO. What is gravy potato people? I'm Charlotte. On this channel, we do the news, we spill the tea, we eat potato, and make a funny. Sometimes we make you cringe, but hey, you love us. I'm kind of like that crazy, cringy aunt that you have to get down from the table at your family gatherings. Woo! Subscribe for the spiciest news updates on YouTube, hosted by people you might actually want to be friends with, and follow us on social media. Before I get into this video, I want to know, have you ever cheated on anyone or found out that someone was cheating with you? Let me know in those comments. In at number 10, we got keep it in your pants, Carl. This guy felt so bad about his cheating, he called himself out on social media. His wife shared, I have just caught my husband in a hotel with another woman. I hope your days have been well. And here he is looking ashamed on the hotel room bed. Then Carl shared Kimberly's photo and said, I am the biggest blank that walked on this planet. Maybe if I kept it in my trousers, I would not have caused so much hurt. Yeah, maybe Carl. And at number nine, we got bros before this one is about a woman named Vicky who should have thought twice before leaving her Facebook open. My guess is her boyfriend came across some messages he wasn't supposed to see. He said, this is Vicky's now ex-boyfriend James W. After spending 3.5 years with her, I today am told by people she thought were her friends that she has been sleeping with James M. Well, at least he's another James. James M, I don't blame you. She probably lied to you about our relationship just like to her family and other friends. I just want you to know what kind of person she is and hopefully save you the same pain and trouble I have been suffering. It's always nice when people blame the actual cheater and not the person they cheated with. Unless of course they knew about the relationship. Gotta look out. Gotta look out for your bros. And your hoes. And at number eight, we got no hickeys. A hickey is a telltale sign that someone has been hooking up with somebody else. And a hickey can also be proof that someone is cheating on you, which might be why this woman didn't want her lover to give her any hickeys. But then she went and shared the hickeys on Facebook for some reason. She said, I hate when you tell a guy no hickeys and your neck's covered, damn it. And someone replied, especially while your boyfriend's deployed. Like, oh my God, totally, I hate that. Why would you put that on social media? Why? Your boyfriend is fighting for the armed forces and you're out here bragging about your hickeys on social media? I can't. I can't with this one, guys. I'm done. Oh wait, we're just at number seven, all right. In at number seven, don't forget your lingerie. This next one comes from a woman named Jessica. <laughs> Of course her name's Jessica. Who came across a little souvenir hidden in her boyfriend's bed. She shared, hey ladies, I found this between the headboard and the mattress of my boyfriend. Well, ex-boyfriend. He says he has no idea who it belongs to. Wow, no idea, eh? That probably means your ex-boyfriend is a serial cheater. Now I want cereal. She went on, size small from Target. Please share this post. I just wanna make sure it gets back to its rightful owner. If it's yours or you know whose it might be, give George a call. Guys, I would not recommend going to pick up this lingerie. She might seem nice in the Facebook post, but Jessica gonna scratch your face. <laughs> I also love that she included that this piece of lingerie was from Target. I feel kind of attacked. Hey man, they make good underwear. Where do you shop, Victoria's Secret? <laughs> In at number six, Jess, don't be a hypocrite. Okay, I didn't realize when I was writing this list that there were two Jessicas back to back, but this Jessica turned out to be both the cheater and the cheated on in this next one. She shared, I hate effing cheaters. You can't trust anyone in this effing world. You make me effing sick. And then one of her exes responds with, Jess, don't be a hypocrite. If I can remember correctly, I broke up with you two years ago because you cheated on me. Karma's a Deal with it. She responds, yeah, and I refuse to take you back even after you cried to my parents. Go away, you a-hole. Get a life. Then uh, another dude chimes in and says, Mike, she told me you broke up because you were going away to college, and for the record, I cheated on her after I found pictures of her kissing some guy at her friend's birthday party. Karma is a and so are you. Um... Yeah, that's, uh, that's awkward. Once a cheater, always a cheater, I guess. <laughs> the best part of this whole thing is her last message. F you both, men make me sick. <laughs> me, me, you make me sick. In number five, we have the 
Detroit Lions game cheater. This Facebook post went viral in December of 2014. It came with a handwritten note and a photo of a woman on her phone. The post read, I was at the Detroit Lions game today when I noticed this woman who looks 8 months pregnant in a seat in front of me, texting a man messages like, I wish I was with you all day, and I will see you as soon as I'm done with him. She kept hiding her phone every time her partner put his arm around her or reached in to talk to her. So being the man I am, I couldn't help it. I had to write him a little note, and on his way out after the game was done, I simply waited for him to exit and stopped him in front of his woman and handed him a piece of paper and said, I don't know you and you don't know me. Read this when you get home, trust me. He looked at me confused and said, okay. Woo, would not have liked to have been that one. Um, but like, how does he know that that was like someone that she was cheating on her boyfriend with? You know, like maybe it was like her brother or something that she. Yeah, never mind. What the f am I saying? <laughs> yeah, number four, keep it in private. If you are cheating, it's probably best to keep it on the down low. Go to their place, get a hotel. Don't head on down to your friendly neighborhood Applebee's where people might see you and know you. And case in point, saw my friend's boyfriend at Applebee's with another girl, so I had to take a pic for proof. The picture was then retweeted tens of thousands of times. Here is a follow up picture with him saying, Let's leave, babe. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. We don't need this, shit, babe. Come on, babe. This next one is straight savage. Savage. It is straight savage. The bougier version of savage. The husband changed her Facebook name to Tanya. I am cheating on my husband with Justin. <laughs> he also posted a couple of statuses to her Facebook. I am a cheating wife that was married 10 years. I went on a trip that was designed to take my three kids to see my dad in Arkansas. But in reality, I met a guy on the net named Justin who romanced me. I met him in New Orleans. Ah, the pleasures of infidelity. He followed up with these new straight talk phones are great for having a secret phone. Just word to the wise, don't let your husband find it. Don't forget to delete those texts and pics of your secret lover. Mm, pics eh? What kind of pics? In at number two, we got please repost. A woman named Steph shared this photo and captioned to social media. If this is your husband, I have endured a two hour train ride from Philadelphia, listening to this loser and his friends brag about their multiple affairs and how their wives are too stupid to catch on. Oh, please repost. And repost they did. Yes, they did. Whose husband is this? Is this your husband? The post was shared more than 180,000 times on Facebook. There were a lot of people who came to the guy's defense and said maybe he didn't actually cheat and was just bragging about it to his friends. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. That might be fine and good, but he still wouldn't shut up about it on a public train ride and everyone had to listen to it. <laughs> Zip it. Zip it. And at number one on our list, we got the most insane instance of cheaters caught on social media. We have the pregnant cheating wife. This woman posted a photo of her positive pregnancy test on Facebook with the caption, happy to announce that there's gonna be a new member of the family. God is good. But uh, <laughs> look at this reply. Congratulations, I know you and Mark will be very happy. I hope that now you're pregnant, you'll stop sending me pics of your every time you get I hope that you stop coming into my office offering sexual favors just because I drunkenly slept with you at the retreat. It was a mistake, a huge mistake, but somehow it has snowballed into a crazy obsession for you and you've ruined my life. I didn't appreciate your calls to my house or the message you left that my daughter listened to. Ooh, My mistake. You have cost me my marriage and has made work intolerable. So while I congratulate you for bringing a child onto this earth, I also pray that this ends your psychotic one-sided love affair with me. I also hope that your husband is smart hard enough to know that it could be anyone's kid. Oh, I'm sweating. Sweating over here. It didn't even happen to me. I'm sweating. All right, guys, that was it for me. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you point out which cheater was the craziest to you. Let me know if you've been cheating on in the comments down below. Please don't hold back. I love these juicy stories. For now, I'm gonna wrap up this video with some common features. Crimson Carson said, Charlotte is that one neighbor who either invites you in or sprays you with a hose if you get too close. Accurate. Get away! Emma Elizabeth said, Charlotte, you sarcastic? No, never. No, I'm never sarcastic. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like literally like face value type of girl. <laughs> Sarah Burton said, very informative in the best, most watchable format. Hilarious doesn't do it justice. Well, thank you, Sarah. You are very kind. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah Burton. 
Chris is Chris is having a, a good time over there. Uh, but yeah, this video is over. So leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want more. I'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay, Chris? <laughs> Carl. Of course, his name is Carl. <laughs> she gonna kill you with those clothes. Come here. Come here. <sighs> mm. 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 <laughs> what am I saying? Whose husband is this? Oh, you think I can't do this without an outro? You think I don't know how to do an outro on the fly? Yeah. Yay! Yeah! One more time. I'll stab you. <laughs> I'm gonna stab you. <laughs>